Hi again, this is Key with Messy Desk Productions. So I did another haul today. This time I went to Hobby Lobby. Um, now let me just forewarn you, I went with the intention of spending a whole lot of money. And uh, it actually worked out better because almost everything I bought was 50% off. Now I didn't go for specific items this time. I just went to kind of restock on some of the items I already have. Um, so I went to look around and, and see what I wanted. I had a couple of things. I needed two more flowers for my layout frame and I needed some clips for my layout frame. Um, so those are the, really the only two items. Oh, and I needed some more shimmer spritz. Um, those are the only three items I really had on my list, which I forgot to take with me anyway. But I did get all of those items. Um, so that's kind of amazing. Um, so anyway, I went with the intention of restocking on some of my supplies and looking at embellishments. Um, so I, I got, a, I got, I kind of met my intentions there. Um, I intended to spend somewhere between two and three hundred dollars, and I walked out spending a hundred and forty-six. So I did really good this time. So let me show you what I got. This here, All Seasons Chipboard Bundle. It's got a whole bunch of chipboard in here, and they're little cutouts for various things. There's some for kids. There's some for Christmas. There's some for school, there's some for Thanksgiving, there's some for sports, there's just all kinds of them. Um, so this was ten dollars, um, so I thought it was a really good deal. This will make for good embellishments. Now, here's what gets me usually when, when I go to Hobby Lobby, the paper stacks. Today their paper stacks were 50% off, that included cardstock, so this package is usually $17.99. Um, of course, it was 50% off today. Um, and this comes with these colors here, so I got a good variety of colors of cardstock. Um, these white flowers here, um, you may remember seeing these. Um, I used the pink version of these same exact flowers on um, my Princess album. These are Prima flowers, they're really pretty. Um, they were $5. And I believe these may have been 50% off also, but I don't remember for sure. Um, anyway, I intend to take one of the little ones, probably this one here, and see if I can make a glimmer mist in the color red and see how I can, how, how pretty these come out after I color them. I restocked on blending foam. I don't think that was on sale, but I needed more, so I got more. Candles, again, were 50% off today, so I restocked on candles because I have a list of candles that I want to make um, for my new house here. So those are all the candles. This is the um, medium paper stack for the Ella Blue stack. Um, I have the big paper stack for this and I saw this and it was 50% off. It was regularly $15, but it was 50% off so I went ahead and got it. Um, so now I can use this to make pockets and stuff when I start using that paper stack. Just what I needed more paper. I bought this for my new dining room. My new dining room has a grapes theme. This is a cross stitch pattern. Um, so I bought this for the new dining room. Um, they didn't have the real pretty one that I kept passing up a couple of times. Um, it's gone, so I had to settle for this one, but I like it too. I bought these clear unmounted stamps. They were um, $9 regularly, but these all stamps were 50% off. That, that, that can get me in big trouble. All stamps were 50% off at Hobby Lobby today, so I got these. These have different you know, little notes on them. One says to do or not to do, that is the question. Um, use it or lose it, note to self, designed by, paid to the order of. So there's various things on here that, you know, I'll find a use for. This one I really like. Um, this is regularly $13 and of course it was 50% off. It's got the music notes. These are unmounted stamps again. This is, um, this looks like dictionary pages. Here's a flowers one. I think this one is supposed to look like stars and 
this one, I'm not real sure what that one's supposed to look like, but we'll find out when we put some ink to it. I bought a Tim Holtz ruler because, well, um, I like Tim Holtz and I'm tired of using my yardstick as a ruler, so I bought it. <coughs> Excuse me. I bought sharks for my um, SeaWorld album. These are regularly three dollars, but they were on sale for they were on clearance for a uh, dollar eighty. So I went ahead and got those. These are gold heart stickers. These were two dollars. Um, that's for an upcoming project. These are puffy stickers. That's for my SeaWorld album. Also, they were two dollars and fifty cents. I finally got my script stamp thingy. Um, the reason I got it today is because this is a $20 stamp and it was 50% off. So I can justify spending $10 on a stamp. I'm happy I got it. And then I got some little spare parts hard clips here. And then that's for an upcoming project. Okay, these are all, well, not all of them. Let's do this. These four are miscellaneous stickers and, and embellishments for the Cub Scouts album that I'm going to make for my son. They were not on sale, but that's okay. They were cheap enough. They were about $4 a piece. Um, so that'll, that'll be a fun album once I finally get started on it. Gemstone embellishments for an upcoming project. These were $4. Um, small wire packs for my mind at all. I've got the big wire packs, but I needed smaller ones. So these are antique brass. They're really pretty. These were $5. Um, I've left, this is Tim Holtz. This is from the Tim Holtz Ideology collection. These are type charms. Um, they were $8. I like the bingo chips, the wooden bingo chips that he has. Um, but I kind of like these better. I'm into the antique gold look, and that's what these are. They're antique gold, and then they have the distressed-looking stickers that you can put on them. Um, again, that was $8. These are the clips I'm going to use for my layout frame. These were $3. And these are little um, jump rings that I'm going to use to attach the clips to my layout frame. Those were $3. This is Smooch Spritz, it was $9. These, I just bought these because these are two colors I don't have, and like I said, I'm building up inventory. This is a little dabber here, this is $3. The shimmer sprays that I don't have, the ones I needed to restock on, I bought both of them, they were $7 a pop. Almost done here. Oh yeah, I bought varnish. I've, I've been meaning to buy varnish for like four trips now, and I finally bought it, so here it is. <laughs> this is a, just a little empty plastic bottle. It looks like a ketchup squeezer thingy. Um, the reason I bought this is because when I make my mini misters, I constantly have to refill them with water, and this will be an easier way to do it than sticking it under a faucet. So I'm going to fill this up with water, and it will sit on my craft table. I'm not going to show you all of these. This whole bag is full of jars for my embellishment centers. Here's one of them. This kind of looks like a milk bottle. There was one other style that I bought. I like these. These are light bulbs, but it's a jar. Um, you know, and I'm looking at it now, and I'm not sure what I can fit in there, but I'll find something. I just liked that it was a light bulb. It was pretty cool. Um, so I'm not going to pull them all out. That whole bag is jars. And the question is, let me show you. As you can see, my embellishment centers are full. They are completely full. I only have two of them. So... Part of me is saying I should go get another embellishment center this weekend because I have completely filled up these two and I'm still buying stuff. So that may very well happen. I may have to go get a third embellishment center. The other question is, how will I hang it? Okay, hold on one second. Let me answer the phone. 
Hey, it's Key again. Okay, sorry about that. That was baby's daddy, and we have to answer the phone when he calls. Um, so what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, is there an embellishment center? See, here's the thing. Let me show you my wall space. At the very edge of the wall, I have my layout frame, right? And then I go embellishment center, embellishment center, a little empty spot where an embellishment center will not fit, and then cabinets and shelves. So if I get a third embellishment center, you know, it would absolutely have to go right there at the end of the other two. They have to go together. OCD says so. So what I would have to do is rearrange my craft room. What does that mean? I'll be doing another craft room video soon. If I convince myself to get the third embellishment center, we shall see. So anyway, back to my haul. Sorry for that little tangent. I only have two things left to show you. When I did my layout frame, I like how it turned out, but I'm very OCD and I don't think that it's balanced out. So I needed to buy two more flowers to add to my layout frame to balance it out. And so these are the two flowers that I bought. And so I'll add those to my layout frame tonight and it'll be completely done. Um, so that's my haul from Hobby Lobby for today. Thank you for joining me. This is my messy desk.